Hey guys, it's Sandro here. In today's video is quite a large review and comparison, placing eight popular brands of metal polishers head to head, which include Autosol, California Customs, Meguiar's, Auto Finesse, Mothers, Quick Glow, Colonite, and CarPro. The whole purpose of this review is to gain as much useful information about these individual metal polishers, such as what they like to work with, how effective they are at removing defects on metal trims, how well they can restore brilliance or clarity to metal, what sort of value they provide to the customer, and really anything else that comes to light about them, so that when it comes time to buying one, you can make a well-informed decision. Now there's literally dozens and dozens of metal polishers on the market, so there's no way I can test and compare them all. But hopefully this review will also provide some good insight as to what you should be looking for in a good metal polish, and why some of them do differ from each other based on more particular needs, diverse metals, and more specific situations. You can also skip ahead in this video if you want to get straight to the results by jumping to the time that's been displayed on the screen right now. Now once we get to the testing footage, you'll see me using steel and aluminium sheets, which was all about trying to give you guys the best possible information on camera as to how all these metal polishers perform. I originally tried to use just metal car trims, but I just wasn't happy with the information that was being captured in the footage. So I ended up largely refilming this entire review so that it would give you guys better and clearer results on camera, which I hope you guys appreciate. To start with, I've got a chrome rear bumper I've washed and cleaned, and I'm going to apply each metal polish by hand using a microfiber applicator. With all the testing you're about to see, both hand and machine applied on the various metal, I did my absolute best to be as consistent as possible with each application in regards to pressure technique and even time myself so that the results would be as fair as possible. Additionally, most of these polishes do contain waxes or sealants, so I've also done my best to follow the manufacturer's recommendations and allow them to haze over before wiping them down. Now as I continue to apply all these polishes on this first trim, I'm going to start by discussing the user experience. Quite honestly, there's just not a lot to complain with the application of any of these metal polishes as a whole. None of them really dust, there's no difficult wipe-offs across the board, and they all seem to have quite a similar solventy smell. Now Quick Glow Original, with its more granular and chunky consistency, is perhaps not quite as nice to work with as the others. And on the opposite side of the scale, California Customs Purple does have a slightly runny consistency, so it can sometimes be a little more messy to apply. While Car Pro Metallic Cut does have a very strong and powerful solvent smell, which isn't the nicest thing. But in saying all of that, I just don't personally think that the user experience with any of these metal polishers is particularly good or bad enough to make it a real factor in your decision to choose one over the other. So for the most part, they do feel and behave fairly similar in that area. One piece of advice I would however give is to use a microfiber applicator or cloth when applying any of these metal polishers, as I personally found that the results with all these polishers were far better when used with microfiber compared to using foam, cotton or wool. I should also mention that I actually shot a few hours footage when making this video, but I don't think anyone wants to watch a 4 hour video on metal polishers. So I had to edit out quite a bit and also speed up a lot of the footage to present this video in a timely manner. So I'm going to try and discuss and give tips about all I've learned along the way with these metal polishers, but also keep this video moving at a faster rate as best I can. This second panel is galvanized steel, which you'll see me use a DA polisher and a microfiber pad to apply these polishers. But I did also hand polish all the panels for a comparison to see how the results would vary and also made sure to be as consistent as possible with all 8 metal polishers here in each section. What you'll find for the most part is that machine applying these metal polishers is not only physically easier to do, but the results are also much improved. 
So you're really going to have to spend at least five to 10 times longer hand polishing and use much more pressure compared to machine polishing, which gets the job done in a fraction of the time. So when working by hand, don't be afraid to really push down with some good pressure and work that polish in for at least a minute or two or really as long as you can before you get exhausted. But when working by machine, you should just use light pressure and stick to 30 to 60 second polishing sets as if you go longer than that, your pads will tend to get overloaded and your results can suffer. Also important to note is that Quick Glow Original in particular is far more aggressive than the other polishers. So it's better to limit both your hand and machine polishing cycles with it unless you're really looking to cut the metal back more significantly. The only other thing I would point out is that once again, due to its more liquidy consistency, California Customs Purple can be a little messy to machine polish. But if you just slow your machine down a little to prevent splatter, you should still be okay. Apart from that, I personally found that all these metal polishers can work equally well, both hand and machine applied, as long as you use a good technique and method accordingly. The third test panel is aluminium, and I used it because I also wanted to look at and discuss how these polishers will in fact give you varying results depending on whether they're used to restore softer or harder metals. What you're gonna find is that some of these more aggressive metal polishers can both level defects and finish reasonably well on harder metals, but on softer metals, they may not finish quite as well. While some of these less aggressive metal polishers struggle to remove even minor blemishes on harder metals, but can finish almost perfectly on softer metals. So then what are harder and softer metals found on cars, bikes, or trucks? 20 years ago, I could tell you that steel, such as stainless and other machined and polished steel, was an extremely hard metal, while alloys or aluminium were quite soft, and chrome was also quite difficult to remove significant defects, but rather easy to restore brilliance to. These days, as far as metal trims used on vehicles go, it's a completely new ball game. We now have alloys that are way harder than steel, which is just crazy. And we have steel that isn't anywhere near as hard or robust as it used to be. Add to that certain chrome trims that look like chrome on the surface, but there's something cheap and not quite right about them. And when you start to polish all these metals, they just don't behave the way they used to in the past or on classic vehicles. You'll also find that some metal trims found on cars today are just very thinly plated with certain alloys. So if you do anything more than just a light polish, you're going to go straight through that plating and expose a cheaper backing metal behind it. I know it's all a bit confusing, but that's just the reality of metal trims found on cars today, which are firstly really rare on modern cars, and secondly very inconsistent and sometimes deceptive, which makes them hard to work on because half the time it's difficult just to identify what type of metal it really is. So let's start going through some of the results. Now I know it's hard to clearly see the results on camera on this chrome bumper, which is why I mentioned I ended up getting those sheet metal panels. But hopefully you can still see that all the metal polishers here were able to clean up the chrome and brighten it up as compared to where the tape marks were, the finish is clearer and more reflective. However, you'll also see that none of these polishers were able to remove any of the deeper scratches. Chrome, and really most metals, are much, much harder than car paint. So to remove noticeable scratches, it will require sanding, if not grinding, and then a lot of refining to restore the gloss and clarity of the metal. So just to be clear, all these metal polishers are just for addressing things like metal oxidation, super fine swirls, and restoring brilliance back to the metal. Now, as we have a look at the next steel and aluminium panels, this is where you can really start to see the difference in the results that each of these polishers produce. There's two things I'm gonna be evaluating here. Firstly, is the cutting ability of these polishers, meaning how well they can level down and remove defects such as oxidation, water spots, and very minor swirls. And secondly, is their brilliance or gloss levels, meaning how much reflective quality and clarity they can create in the finish of metal. So let's start with rating these polishers by both their cut and brilliance levels. 
Autosol metal polish really lands close to the middle here on both fronts, having the fourth best cutting ability and the fifth best finishing ability based on my testing. California Customs purple polish came in with the third best cutting ability and the third best finishing ability overall. Meguiar's all metal polish only managed to get the sixth best cutting or defect removal ability and the sixth best finishing ability. Auto Finesse Mercury came in last place with its cutting ability, but actually came in first place with its brilliance and clarity level finish. Mother's Mag and Aluminium Polish only managed 7th place in its cutting ability, but came in at a very high 2nd place for its finishing and brilliance levels. Quick Glow Original was by far the heaviest cutting polish here, coming in at 1st place but was also by far the worst finishing polish here, coming in at 8th place. Color Knight 850 Metal Wax came in 5th place in relation to cut and was just marginally better than Quick Glow with its finish in 7th place here. Car Pro Metallic Cut lands in 2nd place as far as its defect removal ability goes and fell right in the middle area here at 4th place as far as its finishing or brilliance levels go. Now I'm going to try and sum up these results in my conclusions to hopefully shed some light as to what they mean in real terms, but I was actually surprised with many of these results and how different each of these polishes really are. Now I'm going to quickly speed through and just sum up some of the other testing I did, such as if some of these polishes finishes do in fact stay cleaner for longer, or they're easier to maintain and they do provide some lasting protection or impart any hydrophobic behaviour to the metal. I ended up placing all these metal panels outside for two weeks to try and look at some of those areas. And the main reason I'm going to quickly summarise these results is because they were all disappointing or inconclusive at best. Based on my testing, I personally wouldn't look to any of these metal polishes to leave any sort of lasting protection on the surface. And apart from chrome, which naturally has a hydrophobic or tight surface, just like glass or freshly applied paint, none of these polishes leave any sort of hydrophobic or self-cleaning finishes behind. In many ways, these metal polishes are just like all-in-one car polishes that do use mild abrasives as well as solvents to both clean and polish the surface. And although most of them do leave some sort of protection behind, it's very short-lived and very disappointing from a hydrophobic and long-lasting protection standpoint. So my advice would be to use a car wax sealant or coating after these metal polishes if you do want to protect the finish for any substantial amount of time. So let's get to some conclusions and my personal thoughts about each of these metal polishes. Autosol is just a really nice metal polish. And if you're someone who owns some classic cars, motorbikes, or even a truck, or a detailer who actually works on vehicles that still have many metal trims, there's just no better value polish on the market, especially since you can buy it by the kilogram, which makes it dirt cheap. Now, it may not be the absolute best cutting or finishing polish here, but it still does both of those things really, really well. And I just don't know how you could seriously fault it from almost every aspect. If I could only have one metal polish, there's two here that I really like, and maybe, just maybe, California Customs Purple is at the top of that list. This is just one of those products that has been around forever, and something they got right the first time, as it's really stood the test of time. It removes metal defects really well. It finishes almost as good as any polish here, and it's also pretty cheap. So again, apart from its perhaps slightly runny consistency, I just don't know how to fault it. And I know why so many car enthusiasts swear by it, because it's just a beautiful metal polish. Now, many of you guys know that I'm definitely a Meguiar's fan, as they make some fantastic detailing products. But I have to be honest in saying that their all metal polish is perhaps a little underwhelming. Now there's certainly nothing particularly bad about it, as it can definitely still get the job done. But there's also nothing very outstanding about it, 
as both its cutting and finishing abilities are average at best. Now Mogwai's also makes NXT Metal Polish, which in my experience doesn't cut quite as much, but it certainly finishes better and may be a better overall metal polish by comparison. Auto Finesse Mercury Metal Polish was actually the biggest surprise for me in this entire review. But even after doing many more tests, it just seemed to finish better than any other metal polish here time and time again. Now unlike most of the other polishes in this review, this is really a purely finishing metal polish in my opinion. So it's not really going to remove much in the way of minor defects. Now that doesn't mean it still can't cut through oxidation or even level down softer metals as it certainly can. But it's just not going to have the same amount of bite as the others here. And I also have to point out that at 22 Aussie dollars for just 100 grams, it's also the most expensive polish here. Mother's Mag and Aluminium Polish was another surprise for me in this review. To be honest, when I previously tried it quite a while back, I didn't think too much of it, as it isn't the greatest metal polish at removing any noticeable defects unless it's quite a soft metal. However, when I started evaluating it more on its ability to finish well and restore brilliance on metal, it was really one of the best here and just slightly below Auto Finesse Mercury, but it was still very close. Quick Glow Original is definitely the black sheep in this test. It's really not like any other polish here, as it's very aggressive and capable at doing things like removing surface rust, really thick metal oxidation and more. The downside is that it does finish quite poorly. So you really have to look at Quick Glow Original as the first cutting stage on metal, and then you could use something like Quick Glow Fine Metal Polish to bring back and restore the gloss. In any case, I've used this product for almost 10 years, and it's a really handy product to have, even though it may not always be the best choice if the metal isn't too bad to start with. Out of all the products in this test, I must say the Colonite 850 Metal Wax was the one that disappointed me the most. Now, I'm not saying you can't use it and still get a good result, because you absolutely can. But overall, it didn't really seem to cut all that well, yet it still finished rather poorly compared to almost all the other polishes here. It's also a little misleading calling it a wax rather than a polish, because it certainly has some abrasive qualities, and just like all the other polishes here, it didn't really leave any wax or protection behind in any substantial way. Lastly is CarPro Metallic Cut. Now just like California Customs Purple, I really like this product, as it seems to do everything well from defect removal to finishing and restoring brilliance, so there's just not a lot to hate about its results. And if you needed just one metal polish to do it all, these two products would be at the top of my list. Now it's only available in a 500 gram bottle here locally, which puts it at a mid price point. But it can also be bought by the leader in some countries, which actually makes it one of the cheapest products in that form. My only advice is don't remove the cap and take a strong whiff of it, as it may knock you off your feet due to its extremely strong solventy smell. In all honesty guys, this may very well be the last metal polish review I ever do, because apart from exhaust tips, which are also fading away, cars just don't have any metal trims on them these days. I think it's sad that plastic and fibre materials have taken over, but that's just the way it is. In any case, I wanted to make this video and I hope it's as good a reference for you guys as it was for me and for those classic car, Harley and Mack truck owners, maybe it will still be of some use in the future. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share this video, like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.